flyweight bout. Cody Durden sitting at plus 135. Charles Johnson minus 135. Over under two and a half rounds. Minus 193 for the over. Plus 193 for the under. Charles Johnson coming off the loss to Ode Osborne not too long ago. Cody Durden coming off a win against Carlos Moda, who popped for uh, some juice after that fight. So be the guy on sauce. What do you think of this, this fight? Yeah, kind of a quick turnaround for Charles Johnson. He's taking that active approach where he wants to yeah. fight every month, it seems like. Um, and, you know, skill for skill here, he should match up well against Durden. I mean, Charles Johnson can wrestle, um, you know, on the feet. He's slick. I, I don't like the hands-down style that he that he comes in there with at times. I think you saw it kind of um, come back to bite him against Odea Osborne at times. And I think if uh, Charles Johnson's cardio holds up here, which it nor- he usually has good cardio. And against uh, Osborne, I think there was so much grappling, he just kind of got zapped of it. And late in the fight, you know, he kind of had Ode on the ropes at one point and just didn't have enough in him to to go for that finish or go for the kill. And he needed it, in my opinion. Um, but if he if he can get back to that good cardio and put together a solid three rounds, I think he beats Cody Durden here for sure. Uh, I mean, he lost as a heavier favorite against Ode, so it kind of scares me off seeing this seeing this line again. But it is dropping closer and closer to pick him. And if it gets there, I think I think you have to take Charles Johnson. I think he is the more skilled fighter than Cody Durden here, and uh, <clears throat> I think he can win this fight. Any, I don't want to say anywhere it goes, but um, if somebody's getting a finish in this one, I do see it being Charles Johnson. So that's going to be my pick, betting wise. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this line go down a little bit more um, and see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna be on the the same side. Um, but hesitantly because Charles Johnson, it's his third fight in 2023. It's only April, man. Like, yeah, I, I mean, maybe he needs fight checks. I don't know what, what is his <laughs> deal is here, but like he's taken, he took the last fight against Ode on short notice. He's going to get a full camp for this one. Um, but he, he looks talented. He's a good athlete. He's fast. He's lengthy. He seems to have some pretty solid wrestling. Um, I mean, he went with went toe to toe with Makayev. Like he didn't get put in any bad positions with Makayev. Makayev hasn't looked great since, but he was able to withstand like any kind of bad positions. But with that thing said, Cody Durden just racked up 12 minutes of control time on Carlos Moda. So Cody Cody Durden could just put him and hold him in positions that he can't really get out of uh that kind of scares me but carlos moda was also taking that fight on short notice and then the fight before that against jp buys uh he knocked cody durden knocked him out in the first round and jp buys has you know hasn't really been much um in the ufc so yeah i don't know i mean it's flyweights a lot could happen um Plus money on Durden is looking pretty good, but as you said, the line's kind of steaming down. So, you know, maybe wait it out and you get, you know, near a pick em with Charles Johnson could be uh, more enticing as the week goes on. But I think Charles should be able to stuff the takedowns. And uh, on the feet, I think he's got a, a bit of an edge. Cody Durden's got a solid overhand right, which could clip Charles, but Charles has never been knocked out. And I think the volume... He could rack it up on the feet. Look like he really just gassed out against Ode. Like, yeah, he was finding a lot of success on the feet, and then as the the fight went on, just nothing left. And that that was the story of it. He, like it was anybody's fight going into that third round, and Ode just had a little bit more to give and got the win. But I'll take Charles Johnson for the pick. Definitely going to keep an eye on it as the week goes on.